So I'm on the telephone, watch this, just telling a friend that I'm going to set up and maybe I'll get something like an asteroid and watch what happens. Just to give you an idea of how many asteroids there were yesterday. Okay. What are the chances of me catching the asteroids? Nobody knows where it's going to go by. Yeah, maybe I'll catch another one. Then I say I didn't catch the asteroid, but I caught this. <laughs> something else. So it's just funny because I wasn't even looking at the screen when that happened. So we're looking at different characteristics. Quand on regarde un ovni passer, il y a plusieurs différentes formes, puis ils font plusieurs différentes affaires. Puis je vais expliquer ça. So watch this. You see how it's spiraling, tumbling. It just looks like an object. It's, you know, here's the same thing: an object tumbling, spiraling. Ce sont des objets que nos yeux peuvent pas voir. Fait qu'on voit ça. Uh, à travers d'un appareil à l'infrarouge. So, the infrared spectrum, so these objects, obviously, we cannot see them with the naked eye. Look at this light. It's not scattering light. It's one more concentrated light. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like an egg shape. And it's going by like a concentrated light at a very, very fast speed. Un avion, c'est pas dur détecter, hein? This is a plane, and this is what they mostly all look like when going by in an infrared camera. But look at this one. Oh, what is that? Un autre objet devant un ovni um, qui roule plus vite que l'ovni sur le même trajectoire. Regardez devant l'objet qui suit. On voit un autre objet devant sur le même trajectoire qui roule excessivement plus vite que cet objet. So it appears in front of this UFO, another object on the same trajectory, but it starts going faster than this UFO itself. So whether a meteor or... Understand, people, a UFO is an unidentified flying object. Um, if I was to say, think it was a craft, like the one we just saw, the concentrated light looks more like an, a spaceship, um, it could be a UFO craft, but in general, a UFO is just an unidentified flying object. So we have two objects we just saw flying by. Look here, right in front of it. Regardons l'objet devant qui roule plus vite maintenant, qui apparaît soudainement devant l'ovni. Fait que là, on voit deux objets. Je peux pas dire que, que ça l'a sorti de l'ovni parce que je l'ai pas vu à partir de là. Je l'ai vu plus loin. I didn't see it come out of this. Um, UFO. I've seen it um, appear in front a bit further out. The saturation here, which is zero, I even descended that to about minus three, minus four. Even better view of the surface. The exposure taken down also to alleviate just enough to alleviate that haze.
if space drones were used, well, could these be some of the projectiles that we're seeing right now? Could this light interacting from a larger craft actually have smaller crafts coming out of it to go down to the surface? Clear speculation, clear theory, theoretical, doesn't matter. It's still interesting. And the intensity of that light that goes up and intensifies, that is activity. And uh, these magnificent UFOs that go by now that we're, I mean, listen, there's so only so much study one man can do, right? I'm familiar with a lot of what they say about uh, the way these objects or crafts are driven. But hey, that too is theory or speculation. They talk about neural. Hello, that, whoa, when I heard that, neural, like a neural dashboard or a neural um, platform, whoa, okay. So, you know, controlling a ship, for example, with your brain. Well, I want to tell you something. Look at this in slow motion as they're going by. Imagine if there's only, and this is speculation, theory, but very interesting. We're talking about camouflage. Supposedly, um, some of them can be cam camouflaged from what we're hearing now with some of these uh, disclosure uh, astronauts coming out. So, could it be a camouflage all around one vessel? For example, let's just say this is the only vessel that's there, but there's other lights around it to deviate, um, you know, the eye so that people would wonder. It, it confuses. Even an intelligent race would be confused and wonder um, how many crafts are there. If it was a holographic image, for example, one could uh, land on the surface without being caught as these would continue to uh, project along the surface, for example. And if not, well, boy, let me tell you, they sure should make that camouflage because I think that's genius. I'm pretty sure even uh, a great big possibility of uh, that could, would be in existence, absolutely. Probably very top secret. I'm just making this up right at the top of my head, but let me tell you, it makes perfect sense that if you're seeing a fleet of UFO, uh, a UFO fleet, sorry, you know, 10 or 15 UFOs or whatever, 20, 25 UFOs, who says there's not just two or three UFOs and everything else is a holographic projection?
Christy Lindsay, thanks so much for the generous contributions and especially for being a part of this community.